Describe an experiment to determine the position of the center of mass of a plane lamina. What's a plane lamina, I hear you ask? A plane lamina is just a flat object, just like a piece of card, for example. Now, the center of mass, if you remember, is an, is an imaginary point. And it's an, an imaginary point where the total mass of the body can be thought to be concentrated. And this makes calculations for physicists and engineers much easier. Now, gravity acts on that center of mass, that imaginary center of mass. And so um, it is also the point, it's the same point, through which all of the weight of the object seems to act. And this is also called the, the center of gravity. So the center of mass and the center of gravity are in the same location. Center of gravity. Okay, now to find the center of mass or the center of gravity for a plane lamina, we're going to need to use something called a plumb line. A plumb line. So a plumb line, spelled P L U M B, plumb line, and plumb is, or plumbus is Latin, I believe, for lead. So a plumb line is just a, a piece of string with a lead weight on the bottom. If we hang that from a pivot, pivot point up here, then let's pretend, let's say we're going to move this weight to the left, just push it slightly to the left. So it's going to dangle at an angle. It's going to dangle at an angle. Can you see that the center of mass of the weight has risen? It's moved upwards. And gravity is acting on this center of mass of the of the plumb line and it will drag it down to its lowest point lowest point so the plumb line will always be vertical with the center of mass of the plumb line directly below the pivot okay so the center of mass of a plane lamina will do the same kind of thing Let's do that in green. So here's a here's a, a plain lamina. And if we hang it from if we punch a hole in one one edge, uh, one corner, and if we hang it from a pin, then the center of mass of this plane lamina will will be pulled down by gravity until it is directly beneath the pivot. So maybe the center of mass is here. There's gravity acting down with weight. And when it's in that position, we say that it is in stable equilibrium. Stable equilibrium. It will always return to that point. So the center of mass of the lamina is always along that vertical line. So if we hung our our plumb line from the same pin. Uh, not very good. Let's try that again. Better. There's our plumb line. Then we know that the center of mass of the lamina is somewhere along this vertical line because both objects are doing the same thing. So let's take, take you through a, a three or four step um, investigation or rather an experiment to find the center of mass of a lamina. So number one, here we go, get a stand, get a stand, like a retort stand, and hang a plumb line from a pin, and hang a plumb, plumb line from a pin. Number two, you're going to punch three holes at different locations around the edge of the of the uh, lamina punch three holes in the lamina number three I'm going to hang the object or hang the lamina hang the lamina on the same pin on the same pin as the plumb line, 
that's the plumb line. And then number four, uh, draw, draw a vertical line, a vertical line along the plumb line. Plumb line. And finally, number five, repeat for the for all the other holes. The other all the other holes. And where the lines meet where the lines meet is the centre of mass. Is the centre of mass or gravity. Same point. Great. It's worth noting, so let's just do a quick little sketch here. So we're, we're hanging it from a pin here, a bit darker I think, and our plumb line is hanging down here as well. Let's just do that a bit, bit better. So there's our plumb line. So we're marking that vertical and we'll do the same with the other part. So we'll put that on the top and we'll find that um, if this is our plain laminar here, we'll have one, two, three. We'll mark on the the the, uh, the lines. See if I can draw some straightish lines. And there'll be one there, and they should all meet at the point where the center of mass is. There it is, and. That's a way that we can find the center of mass of a lamina. It's worth noting that the string of the plumb line must be able to swing freely without touching the lamina.